Hey, remember these two characters I made called Alistair and Lenoris? Well, I kind of already made all the other characters to their story, and I kind of just forgot to make a second part to the video. So, sorry if that's my fault, but here's what I got. So, we're gonna dive into the people who the main characters meet along their journey. Starting with Ika and Norman. These two are the lizard twins, obviously. These two will stop you on the street at random and perform their amazing acrobatic sibling show duo, and they will charge you $10 just for watching them. Norman, of course, has the more brown bow, and Ika has the pink bow. And together, they form a complete bow. Next, we have Fetcher or as I like to call him, Grumpy Frogman. He's the proud over of the fancy, expensive Numichi Inn. Bit of a sleazebag who will charge you $50 per night in the utmost quality room. And by quality, it's completely tore down. Next is Ois. Ois is a mysterious, cold, and intimidating owner of the Oyster's wardrobe. He only acts a lot of whoever lives in the city, but no one ever knew or figured out why he got that scar on his face. He's also Alistair's uncle. Mr. Arnold. He is one of, if not the meanest shop owner you'll ever find in the city. If you thought the prices were scuffed, oh, get this! This guy charges you for merely stepping inside a store! Next is Nero, who is one of the main antagonists of this whole charade. Nero is your favorite cat burglar. Cunning, sly, slim, and gets the job done as quick and silent as a mouse. He is also Big D's right hand, but who is Big D, you're wondering? Well, he's a dragon. This is Big D. <laughs> this is Darren, one of the most sinister mafia crime boss of all, and is the number one criminal in the entire city. Oh uh, yeah, also the literal tyrant of Beast Isles. He was one of the quickest con artists who became rich, and is the only dragon in the whole city. Anyone stupid enough to try and out-con him is left with nothing but their life to be spared. He's big and tall, yeah, that's pretty obvious, but most people say he's called Big D for another reason. And no, it's not like you naughty little fricks will think. So yeah, that's all the characters I made from that one school assignment. I plan on making like a tiny little animated trailer just for the just for the basic gist of the story, but if for the most part, if I were to go into production with this, I might just make it a comic series, so... Let me know what you want me to do with it, and I'll see you next time.